Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph. And today we have a, and today we have a set active haul. Oh my God, okay. Prefacing this, this is from the set active business something. Anyways, this is many drops ago and it has finally arrived. They did take a very long time to ship stuff out. Um, but this time, unlike my stuff from Black Friday, they actually sent updates about the order, the delay, all of this, unlike just leaving me hanging for like weeks on end. So I do appreciate that. Since then, another drop has come out and I did not really pay attention to this drop, but there was the color, like the blue color that dropped in that drop. There was a bodysuit with an open, like a romper with an open back. It's stunning. Um, I might stalk the website to see if there's like more sizes or something, but yeah, stunning. Anyways, <laughs> separate note. So anyways, um, I just am obsessed with that active. But anyways, let me jump into this haul. And today, it is a beautiful sunny day. I am in a fabulous mood. We are going to do a try on haul for you. I know that I have been slacking on these and just posting in cutaways. I'm sorry, guys. You know what, sometimes a girl has gotta do what a girl has gotta do. But today, we are specifically filming content. Today is content day, so it's gonna be a good haul for you. Okay, let's jump into it and make sure to stick around for the try on section. Because I'm gonna talk through everything first, then we'll try on. Okay, look at their new packaging. I love this. It says, like it's all the set active and at the bottom it says guaranteed to look right on you. Considering how much stuff is in this haul. Ooh, this is not a very big package. They really shoved it in. I think I need scissors. I'm determined to not get scissors. There we go. Okay, sick. All, all ready. <laughs> So there are some pieces in here. Now this all came I honestly think something is missing. Yeah, something is missing. Okay. This is like, one of my things is like crossed out and I don't have it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to email. One second. <laughs> okay, I've just emailed, sorry guys. Um. Okay, anyways, I thought I thought that there were gonna be no issues with this order, but there, there is. There's an item missing, and I checked through my like history, and there is no notice, no um, like no refund notification, nothing, and it's crossed out. So I just like emailed and I was like, anyways, I have been having a lot of problems with Set Active recently. So just do keep that in mind, ordering from them that they have not been the best. It's like annoying because I really love their stuff, but like their customer service and kind of like my order experience with them recently has not been great. So it's like, I it's hard for me to keep recommending something because of this situation, but it is. Okay, so let's get into the haul. I am feeling now very, I was so excited and I'm now kind of deflated. Okay. okay, so the first thing I got is the set long sleeve in cappuccino. And I was also supposed to get this in the other color ink. Um, I got this in a size small. It is a ribbed long sleeve full length uh, shirt. 
This is in this like beautiful brown color. It's in cappuccino, which is like a nice soft brown. This is the only thing in this color that I picked up just because I, I like a lighter color brown. These like cocoa, cappuccino, coffee colored browns are beautiful. I just don't find myself reaching for them all the time. So I much more prefer like a tan, camel, lighter toned situation. Um, but I was like, this color is so nice and these shirts are quite nice. So I was like, I will pick them up. They do feel similar in a second for the... So I, I do feel like they have a very similar feel to the whole tight long sleeves. They are a bit thicker, but similar feel, similar look. That's why I was willing to, I, I definitely wanted to pick up the two, but yeah, I am excited for this, but I am disappointed that the blue one, which is the color that I really wanted more, um, didn't arrive. Then the next thing is I picked up some slit front leggings. These are the Luxform front slit leggings. I got the color in Onyx and I got the size small. I've been looking at slit front leggings like this for so long, but these were the ones that really like met my requirements of the like front slit not being so aggressively high like the Aloe or Aritzia ones. And then I was looking at, like Lulu doesn't really have them. So I was looking at like Victoria Beckham and all of these things. And this kind of like met my requirements and weren't egregiously expensive for what they kind of were. These are in lux form. I do like the lux form fabric quite a bit, um, but I was like thinking about these leggings and wearing them with, like white stinkers and stuff, especially going into, well, they're, I feel like they're more like a fall piece, but going into the spring, I'm sure I'm gonna get some use out of them. Then to go with this, but like not really to go with this, I, I kind of might return this. I don't, I don't know how I feel. I'm gonna try it on and kind of see what goes on with this. Um, this is the Luxform collared long sleeve bra in Onyx. Now I like a, I like this in theory. Now, do I wish that they had just made this a shirt instead of a bra? Yeah, for sure, because I would have preferred this to be actually like, or at least hip length or something. So my kind of issue is I don't know how practical this is actually going to be for me. I'm gonna try it on, but this honestly might get returned. I'm unsure on it. So yeah, want to see. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and then next thing, okay, so I got three things in the color, it was supposed to be four, but I got three things in the color ink. Um, the cap sleeve scoop bra, the shorts, and then this, which I'm excited about. So I'm gonna talk about this first. This is the Luxform long sleeve zip shorty suit in ink. I, you guys know me and my wrestling suit love. So this is long sleeves, shorts, so cute. Um, I'm definitely like, I'm a cold person, not like person, I will personally wise, I think some people might actually say that I'm cold, but in terms of like physical body temperature, I get quite cold. However, I like to have my legs out because I want to pick up some tan, some color, all that sort of stuff, you know? So I was like, I definitely sometimes feel like if I have a long sleeve on, I can get away with having my legs out in the colder temp, like not colder, but in the spring, like our spring is not super warm. <laughs> For lack of a better word, like literally it's like zero degrees today and it's April 2nd. So yeah, anyways. Um... <laughs> I got this, I'm very excited for this. This I think is definitely gonna be a keep, but yeah, it's, it is unusual. I think it's gonna be like a love it or hate it piece. And then it's going to be, you know, it's gonna be one of my favorites for the spring for sure. And then I just, I also loved the color. What am I saying? I loved this blue color and I'm so excited to wear this piece. 
I know that people are going to love it or hate it. I already know that I'm going to love it. I love bodysuits, rompers, that sort of thing. I don't know why, but it's just kind of a thing for this year for me. Okay. Then I got the Lux from Bike Shorts in ink size small. Everything is a size small pretty much, except sometimes I will get a medium or an extra small size, depending. I can fit into either. My preference is usually a medium, but I can also, I like for the shorts and stuff, I can definitely get away with an extra small if I have to, but I don't want to have to. But yeah, these I love. I love the Lux form material. I do love this color. You guys know how I feel about like a dark, blue like an admiral navy that sort of color i really like it because i love i don't always like to wear black i feel like sometimes black is so harsh and so having that dark blue that is almost black but softer is great because then the other option would be obviously like a dark brown however i don't really like i don't really resonate with dark brown like i keep saying so I think sometimes I feel like it's a little, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it would look great because it's like warm and all of this sort of stuff, but I don't know something about brown in my mind, maybe because I grew up like in the aughts as a small child and like it was like brown was very popular then. I was just like at that era, like that age where I wasn't into it. And so like, I wasn't a part of the fashion then. So it kind of like, it reminds me of that time, which I'm just like, meh on i don't know don't know what my rationale is on that but yeah um <laughs> that's why i like dark blue long dark blue story short finally oh shit finally finally i have the lux form cap sleeve um scoop bra in ink size small i love this i love the shape of this i love a little cap sleeve like you guys i'm sure you guys have seen because i have a bodysuit that's a cap sleeve too just really like it this gives pilates princess but um like not pink you know which i like but i also like pink but yeah um i'm very excited for this shirt i think the ink stuff i'm really excited about I'm very disappointed that this other shirt didn't arrive. I don't know what the heck is going on with Set Active, but since Black Friday, I have just had the most hit or miss experience with, with them. And just like something about it has just like, I don't know. For me, I love the brand, I love the clothes, but my experience with the brand just keeps kind of putting me off a little bit. It's like, I still buy cause I like it, but then every time I'm like left with a bad taste in my mouth. And I'm also left with this, like, I like the brand. I would love to work with the brand. I think I love their clothes. I love the quality. I love this and that, but then their customer service and order fulfillment is just so hit or miss that it's kind of like, I don't want to like, I don't want to keep talking to you guys about it. Anyways, I have this every time. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, this is the haul. I, um, yeah. See, like, I was so excited and now I'm a little bit, like, about it. Okay. I'm going to go try these on and uh, see if there's anything to keep, to return, whatever you guys can weigh in in the comment section. And yeah, let's go try it on now. Hey guys, okay, so I'm popping in here to kind of explain what went on with this order. So I placed the order on the 1st of March and then it was out for delivery on the, or sorry, they sent, they shipped it on the 23rd and then it was delivered on the 27th of March. And I received it because I went and picked it up on the 2nd of April. Notice the item was missing, emailed on the 3rd. And I explained that the item was missing and I got a response back going, oh yeah, like, I'll, like, issue the refund. And I'm like, I still don't understand what's going on. So I asked for more context in the original email because I was told, oh, like, many emails were sent. And I was like, I've only seen one email and that is just about a general delay, not specifically about the undeliverable item. So she sent, like, I got sent the email that explained what was going on and it said that the 
item that I was missing was actually not ever going to be delivered, was supposed to be cancelled and automatically refunded. So at this point I'm like, oh well I didn't receive this email, I wasn't notified of the cancellation and I wasn't automatically refunded. So already three, three points where I was like feeling very iffy about how Set Active does business because it's like this is such a massive oversight to like effectively say to some customers we're gonna refund you and we're gonna do this but then not all when like everybody is supposed to be at least everybody should be getting this automatic thing and that, that tells me that when they were going through this their system and their orders the person doing it wasn't super careful or there are actually still a lot and there are a lot of people like me who weren't on the emails and who might still be owed a refund so then after many days i have not received the money in my bank account yet for the refund on the 19th and i couldn't find like a refund notice email i've since found it but it's just like this whole thing is just a like a whole mess because i was like if that like like given that like there was a refund email sent but i couldn't find it the person that i was talking to could have solved it by just resending the refund email or like letting me know so i just said i hi i haven't seen the funds what's going on all of this and she, the person goes oh well like i'm we're waiting to receive your items i'm sorry the items that were never delivered to me are supposed to be received back no so i sent another email and I'm like, no, that, that's a, that like I do have a return in this order, but you no, know, I'm talking about the items that were canceled out that should have automatically been refunded. Because really, the root of my concern and frustration is the fact that I should have been automatically refunded, like the email said I would, but like I never got the email, so I didn't know earlier on in the month or earlier on in March that I could have just gotten refunded earlier. And then was like waiting for this refund that I like wasn't seeing on my bank account. And then being told, oh, we have to wait. And then I also had items that I sent out, sent back to their facility because I didn't like them for a refund. And it had been at their facility. It arrived on the 10th of April and it was the 20th when I was like emailing about this. And I was like, well, there are things still. Nothing, crickets, whatever. This person is just not showing like a like a high level of compare compassion considering at this point i still not received over like about 200 dollars us back in refunds which is like 250 dollars canadian if not more depending on the exchange rate of the day so i like try and figure out what's going on and ultimately on the 21st sent a new email with missing items from my order and returns awaiting refund and i said hello I apologize in advance for the long email. However, you're currently holding about $200 USD of my money for canceled and returned items that I've yet to even be issued a refund notice for. So I'm frankly getting a bit frustrated and losing trust in Set Active as a company. I would love to resolve this with Set Active as soon as possible and go back to continuing to support this company. I was told I would be refunded for the set long sleeve and ink, which was canceled out of my order, but I've not received any refund notice or funds for the unfulfilled item. Apparently an email was sent out was saying, and then I just copied the email. I unfortunately never received this email, but regardless, I should have been automatically issued the refund and notified of the item's cancellation, which did not happen. I sent an email upon the receipt of the order without the item prior to noting, prior to knowing about this issue and emailed on Sunday, April 2nd about the issue. On Monday, April 3rd, the person who helped me responded, letting me know that our refund had been processed and notice would arrive shortly with the funds following in two to three days. As of Friday, April 21st, no notice and no funds have been received. On Wednesday, April 19th, I sent a follow-up email on this matter. On Thursday, April 20th, same person responds with the following. Hi, thank you so much. And the same thing that I told you where they were waiting for my items to be returned to the facility. Best, the person. I was like, not only was the response inaccurate to the situation as the item was canceled out of the order, and thus there would be no return to confirm, it shows a complete lack of care or consideration for the inconvenience time and money that is still being held by your company. In addition to this cancelled item not being automatically refunded, I returned two items from the same order on April 5th and they have since arrived at your facility on the 10th. It has now been 10 business days since the return has been delivered with no confirmation of receipt, return issued, or any refund. Given that my refund should have been automatically issued and has not been issued 
20 plus days after the general email was sent out that I was left off of. I'm very anxious about this. Can you, can I please have my refunds issued to me immediately? They respond and go, hi Stephanie, thank you so much for reaching out to set Okay, so then the response is actually, Hi Stephanie, thanks for reaching back out. We are so sorry for the delay in response. I went ahead and processed your return, so you should be receiving your funds refunded in two to four business days. Again, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. We appreciate your time and the feedback you've sent us. We would love if you gave us a second chance. Please use code blah 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 for 15% off your next order. Please let me know if you have any further questions or comments. Have a great day. So it took that email, laying out the timeline of everything, to actually receive my refund notice and it's so frustrating because in this one it shows like that there's this is the like this is what's actually like the one where all of the funds have actually hit my account um so it says refund gift card refund gift card refund visa and then there's still so they they still left like instead of just like yeah so they refunded things to the gift card first and then to my bank account which is like bothers me for like to no end because I don't get the money they still ultimately get the money like the hundred dollars has been spent but yeah but I did get my money back it did just take quite quite a bit of time to get my doll hairs back Anyways, it's been resolved. I still am very iffy on it. It did take some time and I have been seeing a lot of people comment, not a lot of people, but some other people commenting on their Instagram that they haven't received their their refunds after months as well, or weeks as well. So just be very, very careful with Set Active and your refunds. Be very diligent, be very proactive about it. And like, it's so frustrating that they don't take more care and consideration with stuff like this um and honestly right now i'm a bit gun shy to purchase from them again and i wouldn't blame you guys if you are also gun shy hearing about this my friends and stuff going through the situation are now gun shy about it so i just want you guys to know that the situation has been resolved i did get my refund but it was definitely a very difficult process going through it and it took a lot of very proactive follow-up on my front to actually have it fully resolved but yeah it is resolved now the pieces are cute but this is the second time that i've had a not so great experience with set active customer service and hopefully hopefully when i do decide to purchase from them again if i do decide to purchase from them again everything will be smooth sailing but all right let's get back into the try on section. Okay, this is the long sleeve shorty suit, like like the Lux form with the zip. I have it like half zipped, but this is what it looks like oh, <laughs> all the way up. Um, I have like a mildly, what I would say, sensitive neck. So I like kind of hate having stuff done up like this, but this is what this looks like. I would honestly keep it down here I feel like hate having things against my neck um this is a size small it is tight it is tight and it gets form fitting and I think it's okay I mean I honestly could have also probably gotten away with a medium and been comfy as well extra small would have not gone um my arms which aren't I would not say I have big arms at all it's very tight, like right here, <laughs> very tight. There is given the fabric, but it is tight. So keep that in mind. It does like kind of cinch you, kind of not. Keep in mind, I don't have like the biggest hip to waist ratio. So yeah, um, the gusset is okay. We're not feeling, not feeling something, something bad. This is it from the back. I don't know. Um, I don't have a lot going on back here, so like, can't really speak on that. The diameter of the leg holes, which is something you guys know I gripe about incessantly, very comfy. Ten out of ten on that. So yeah, 
Um, I would say it is a tiny bit hard to get into because you've got to like, like a wetsuit. I do look like I'm wearing a wetsuit, but beyond that, it's cute. I like it. I am not wearing under anything underneath. Can't see anything. I think you could definitely, could definitely wear a bra with this. Um, yeah, it's not like the other shorty suits or the other onesies that I have from them where you're compressed in the top section. So it's just not giving that, but it's cute. I do wish I had gotten the sleeveless one in that bright blue color though. That was adorable. Anyways, okay, this is the first piece. Okay, I've moved you back. This is the luxe form. No, these are the leggings and the top. I think this, this all might go back. Okay. Just like the leggings, I don't know, they're, they're not, they're not giving, they're not, they're not looking how I wanted them to look. And like, they're really flattering until like the ankle section. I don't know what it looks like for you guys. In real life, I don't really see myself like reaching for them all the time, which is like kind of annoying. Um, they're definitely too expensive to keep if I'm not gonna be wearing them. I don't know, like I don't know. Maybe if I didn't have on high socks, I would like them, but they're just not. I mean, they're, they're kind of cute. Like I do like the flare, I really do. But do I just want to get flares then? Is like the question, you know? I don't know. This top, very flattering. It is cute. However, it's so short. Like, it's so short and it's, it's a bra. And I don't like working out in long sleeves, really. It's too short to wear to golf because I can't have my stomach out at golf. Um, I can't like lift in it easily because it's gonna, the band is so like stiff that it kind of doesn't have a lot of forgiveness to it. Then for athleisure, for, like just for like casual purposes again, it's it's cute it's a look but it's not really my look so i think it's gonna be a no for me let me show you guys in the full length mirror so this is the look maybe it's just the shoes it's just a, like one second let's try it without sockies Maybe it's just the sockies. Oh, it's probably just the sockies. Oh yeah, it looks better without the sockies. Okay, so the leggings, the leggings are a go, I think. Legging, yeah, leggings are a go. They are a go go. The top is a no. I don't know. Yeah, it it looks cute, but then it's like it's so short, and I'm just not feeling. I'm not feeling my stomach recently, so maybe I think this is a no. I think it's a no, guys. I've never returned anything from Set Active, so this is gonna be a, a process. Okay, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> Eep. This is the uh, calf sleeve bra and the Milux form shorts. These are cute. I like these. Um, but yeah, I kind of feel like this haul is kind of a bust. Ugh. Also, they don't do free returns. So I don't know. I might actually, like depending on when I'm in California, I might wait, bring it to California and then return it from California because this is terrible. So annoying. So annoying. But yeah, okay. This is cute though. Um, Lux from shorts, very comfortable. This bra is a little stiff, um, very compressive. I would probably just do 
maybe lower body stuff in it. I don't know how I feel. Like this, this kind of feels annoying for this. I don't know. Um, it is cute. <laughs> a, little, a little compressive. And then, yeah, the shorts are the shorts. I, I do like set active shorts, especially like the luxe form uh, sport body shorts. They are very comfortable. I really enjoy them. So yeah, there's that. Okay, last piece to go. Let's go do that. Okay, this is the shirt. I like this shirt, but I wish I had this shirt in the blue color instead of this color or black. Anyways, um, I like it. It's cute. It's just basic, honestly. Like, I think, like, I like this because it's straight across. It's a straight hem, and it doesn't have the weird stitching that my whole tight does. And I think, honestly, if I didn't want another neutral sort of like comfy ribbed long sleeve like this, I would just return it with all the other stuff. It's cute. I think I'll bring it to San Francisco for sure. Definitely have to tuck it in. I wish it was like, this is waist, this is, this is whatever this is. I wish it was here, like a like waist length, hip length. I don't think it needed to be this long. This is like a tunic, but it is cute. Um, I don't know. It's nothing special though. Anyways, that's it. That's all the try on. So, yeah. Okay, so that is the Set Active haul. Um, I personally am a little bit disappointed, but I do like the clothes. So, please, I don't know. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I always want to discla like, disclaim that, like, Regardless of how much I love a brand, like I love Set Active, I love Aritzia, you guys know, but when there is a bad experience or when there is something that I think needs to be improved on, I will never, ever, ever shy away from telling you guys. I don't think that there is something that is ever 100% good and I don't think that is that it's realistic to ever fully, re like to fully represent a brand and to fully say, like there has to be the acknowledgement that there are issues. And I would never want to promote something to you guys knowing that there are these like pros and cons. And I do hope that the transparency is appreciated. I know that from a brand side, it's obviously very uncomfortable to have somebody publicly calling you out on your issues. But from my perspective, I don't want you, my audience, my community to go and buy something because I recommend it and then have the same experience that I've had. I just have not disclosed it to you and for you to later find out that I knew that this was an issue the whole time and misled you. And there's nothing worse than that. So said active, please know that this is not like shade on you as a brand. It is straight up just acknowledging or it's straight up just telling people my experiences and so that if they a have had this they don't feel alone but b they don't feel like they've been duped into purchasing from you which ultimately at the end of the day there's nothing worse than somebody feeling duped into buying something so i hope that this is appreciated on all sides but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I am so sorry to not be bringing like the most 100% positive experience, um, but I don't believe in lying and saying that something is what it's not. So yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.